Hi, today I want to make a short update video. Some time ago I have uh, created a video for the application split QE and interestingly if you go to Google search engine and type in split QE uh, you won't be able to find it. Um, it will try to show you the result of split QE and the old one is still here. You can open it. This is here the search result of split QE but it's also telling you did you mean split QE so it seems split QE is more popular uh, you can find it on this website you can download it here and it's basically a different QE for the same back end from time to time I got comments on my older video saying something is not working this one is easier to use uh, it's saying no need to install Python and it just come with the package. I've got the splitter QE already installed here. You can define the parts to separate here and uh, there's a very important difference in this one. You can specify the maximum song length. In the O1 split QE uh, I couldn't do that and the maximum song length is 10 minutes and I've got trouble with certain melee songs. So uh, just for demonstration I'm going to select a two and I'm going to pick a song uh, 15 minutes long. Uh, I just put it a little bit higher for a thousand seconds. By default it's only 600. Then I have to select a locations to save. I'm going to put it in the temp directory. Now select a song here and I've got the song 15 minutes 22 seconds. Let's run it and start processing. Okay, it's done. Okay, in my temp directory, there's a directory with the song name created and with two wave file here. Now I'm going to put it in the Audacity. You can see here my song is 15 minutes long. And let's have a listen. So the quality is exactly the same I have compared with uh, Split GUI because it's using the same back end but this one is easier to use just to download it and install no worry about the Python thing so I hope you find this video useful if you like it please give me a thumb up Thank you for watching. Bye.